back to painting and decorating. Blimey, well, mean, this is a cold room, this one. Um, 11 degrees in here. Even when you put the heat in the room, it just doesn't seem to heat up, it takes forever. Uh, the outside walls, just condensation. Um, you put your paint on there and it just doesn't want to dry. So your only option is to force dry. Uh, so I, I use heaters. So I'll show you what I do um, beforehand and after I've painted the wall. Temperature of the room at the minute, 12.1. That's not good. I mean, for paint to dry reasonable, um, it's you know you want it up to around 18, 20 degrees at least. Bit of air movement, even better. The worst corner was down here. Um, the outside wall. Now, when I th this is the second coat. Well, sorry, this is the first coat. I'm about to do the second coat. But when I first started, there was mold and uh, condensation all over that wall. So the first thing I did, obviously, clean the mold off, and then I put that heater there to warm the area up, dry it out before you do anything else because you can't work on a cold surface and a, a damp surface you need to dry it out warm it up and then your fillers will dry uh, it's easier to sand and things like that now I'll just show you some other bits a blow heater now that is your most important thing to have because you can direct the actual flow of the heat these heaters they're okay they'll warm a room up over time but they don't direct heat in one way it's just straight up um, this thing you can move it about and adjust it and you can dry your corners out and move on down the wall um, also this I use this to dry my scuttle out now never leave this in a room like that do it when you're in the room sometimes I'll just prop it in front of the blow heater as well and dry it out like that um, can crack a little bit but at the end of the day you know you need to um, get them dry some people say why don't you use another one well depending on what I'm doing I'll have uh, two colours on the go anyway uh, and I may have two of these um, but you dry them out you, you you wipe them out so they're clean overnight so when you get there in the morning or once you've cleaned them out they're wet so you have to dry them out so you know either way you've got to dry them out you can't leave them sat in your van wet so best way is to dry them out also people say get some liners you hardly see any professionals using liners. Let's just put it that way. Again, another really important thing, a dehumidifier. Um, you're better having one that will just look after itself once you turn it on. This one does. The tank will fill up and then it just shuts off. So you can actually leave that on overnight. It's safe enough. Um, and that's great because you know some rooms you just go in and they're just damp um, they might have a problem with the damp course or they've got leaks so the, the air in the room is just really damp and nothing dries again so heat and a dehumidifier best way to get your job moved along and get it finished that's been sat on there a while now a few hours <clears throat> started out 11.7 so it's gone up because it did drop a bit um, but like I say a couple of hours it's gone up to 13.2 but surface temperature that's not enough for paint to be drying on so let's just have a look what the air temperature is the air temperature to the actual surface temperature completely different 16.3 that's not too bad um, I mean again it probably take ages to dry at that
Right, another uh, another top tip is make sure you spread your paint out really well, um, cutting in everything all in the corners, because if you don't, that can take ages to dry. So as soon as you've put a coat on um, some of the coldest parts, then what you want to do is put your heater on it. 